Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the air insulated medium voltage switch gears. Medium voltage switch gear is considered as the most fundamental component for the electrical transmission and distribution systems. Today we will try to develop the basic understanding about the switch gear design. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. Electrical switch gear is a device that functions to protect, control and isolate the electrical power system. Before we start our discussion on the AIS, it is important to understand the medium voltage level and distribution of power to the end users using different switch gear designs. We have already discussed during our previous vlogs that power from sub-transmission level is stepped down to the medium voltage level at the HV substation using the step down transformer. Medium voltage level starts above 1 kV and can go up to mostly 40 kV. However, it can be as high as 52 kV in some cases. For the medium voltage distribution to the end users, we have two types of distributions. First type of distribution is called the primary distribution and the secondary type is called the secondary distribution. Primary distribution system provides medium voltage power either to the consumers with high power demand like medium to small scale industrial plants. It also provides power to the medium voltage system for secondary distribution, which further distribute the medium voltage power to the end users with low power demand. To support the primary and secondary distribution, we can use either air insulated or gas insulated switch gears. The main difference between the two types is that the switch gear for primary distribution are designed for high rated current and short circuit current. On the other hand, switch gear for secondary distribution, which are commonly called ring main units, are designed for low rated current and short circuit currents. Since the network of primary distribution is critical as compared to secondary distribution, therefore control and protection scheme at the primary distribution switch gear is more complex as compared for secondary distribution switch gears. Switch gear for primary distribution due to criticality of its placement in the system are designed to be more robust and are more complex in design as compared to switch gear for secondary distribution. Our today's discussion is about the air insulated switch gear used for medium voltage primary distribution. Air insulated switch gear for primary distribution are used in all market segments such as in the high rise buildings. In the utility network such as at the generating stations and to further distribute the power either through radial network or through ring network. These switch gears are used in all kind of industries like the oil refineries, chemical plants, automotive sector, chemical plants and etc. AIS for primary distribution are preferred to use in power systems where the availability of power is the highest priority like at the data centers, in hospitals and at the airports. IEC 6271-1 and IEC 6271-200 defines the requirements for metal enclosed high voltage switch gear and control gear for rated voltage above 1 kV and up to 52 kV. Most commonly available rated voltages for AIS are 7.2 kV, 12 kV, 17.5 kV and 24 kV. However, for special requirement, manufacturer designs are available up to 52 kV. Most commonly used rated currents are from 630 ampere till 4000 ampere. However, it can go up to 5000 ampere. It is important to mention that small current ratings up to 3150 ampere are available without force cooling. Above 3150 ampere, mostly force cooling is required. Most commonly used rated short circuit currents are 25k, 31.5k, and 40k for both 1 second and 3 seconds. Protection against internal arc fault is available in 25K, 31.5K and 40K for 1 second in both AFLR and AFL. As per IEC 62271-1, table here shows the values of power frequency with stand voltage and impulse voltage based on the switch gear rated values. Air insulated switch gear are designed for indoor installation and are most commonly used with withdrawable circuit breaker to ensure the continuity of operation. As per IEC 62271-200 requirement, AIS are designed with integrated interlocking systems for operator safety. The mechanical indications such as either circuit breaker is open or closed, indication for the position of circuit breaker for disconnected, test and service positions. Status of the earthing switch whether on or off can be seen at the front of the switch gear. 
Air insulated switch gears are mostly designed to satisfy the LSC2B requirement of IEC 62271-200, which is specified under the loss of service continuity. Loss of service continuity or service continuity of the switch gear defines the possibility to keep the other compartments or functional units energized when a main circuit compartment is opened. LSC2B switch gear are designed with four clear compartments. First is the circuit breaker compartment where the circuit breaker is placed and is operated. Second is the cable compartment, where the incoming or outgoing power cables are connected. Cable compartment also contain components such as current transformers, voltage transformers, earthing switch and the surge arresters. Third is the bus bar compartment, where the main bus bar runs and connect one switch gear to the other. LV box where all the control and protection components are installed is considered as the fourth compartment. All the compartments are segregated either using the metallic or non-metallic partitions. If the partitions and shutters are metallic, then the switch gear is classified as partition metallic or PM class under the IEC 62271-200. If one of the partition or shutter is non-metallic, then switch gear is classified as PI class under IEC 62271-200. It is important to mention that modern air insulated switch gear are designed with partition class PM. Here are some references of the compartments which we have discussed. The partition class PM can be seen in the picture of the VCB compartment. All the partitions are metallic including shutter through which circuit breaker access the power circuit. In the bus bar compartment main bus bar connection is shown. Cable compartment is used for field cable connections. LV box is used for the installation of protection and control equipment. Air insulated switch gear can either be front axis design or rear axis design. This definition is according to the connection of the power cables in the switch gear. If the power cables from the field is connected at the front side of the switch gear, it is called the front axis design. In the front axis design, all the installed components are accessed through the front side of the switch gear and there is no need to access the switch gear from the rear side for maintenance purpose. If the power cable is connected at the rear side of the switch gear, then it is called the rear axis design. In the rear axis design, power cables can either enter the switch gear from top or through bottom. It is important to mention that rear axis switch gear require operator access from rear side for maintenance. Therefore, free space according to manufacturer's recommendation should be left for this purpose behind the switch gear. Either it is a front axis design or a rear axis design. The LSC2B requirement of IEC 62271-200 will remain applicable and four clear compartments, the circuit breaker compartment, the cable compartment, the bus bar compartment, and the LV box will be required. The arc fault can occur within the switch gear despite little probability. An arc fault endangers operating and maintenance personnel as excessive light and heat is produced by an arc fault. Direct exposure to such heat radiation can cause severe burn injuries. The switch gear is designed in a manner that in case of an arc fault, it is contained within the switch gear with no harm to the operating and maintenance personnel. The switch gear compartments are fitted with tunnel arrangement to clear the arc fault outside the building to a safe space. Further, the VCB and cable compartment doors are fitted with special arrangements to make sure that these remain closed during the arc fault. The most commonly used configurations of air insulated switch gear for primary distribution are shown here. These configurations include the incoming panel, the outgoing panel, the bus coupler and the bus riser panel. Incoming panels take supply from the step-down transformer in the high voltage substation or from the utility network. This configuration is equipped with most of the power, control and protection equipment as this is the upstream panel. Current transformer is installed for the protection and metering purpose. The purpose of voltage transformer is to provide control voltage to different electrical components installed in the LV box. Bus coupler panel along with the bus riser panel is used to break the bus into two or more sections according to the single line diagram. More than one bus bar sections are required due to the presence of multiple incoming from different independent sources. 
outgoing panels supply power to the end users which can either be an end user or can also be a secondary distribution switch gear so this is the end of our today's video i hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic if you like the video please hit the like button please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box please also let me know if you need information about any other topic i will try to cover it in my next vlogs please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos thank you